Shalom, my family. It is your girl, T, and I'm back with another tea talk. What can I say? I started doing these tea talks back during Vlogmas, and I feel like I've just found it really helpful to have this outlet for me to do things that aren't necessarily about my usual subject matter of hair or fitness. And today is definitely one of those topics that doesn't really fit in either of those categories. Talking about confidence, you saw the title of the video, and um, this was sparked uh, in a few different ways. It's a video that's been on my mind for a while. I've gotten questions from you guys in the comments over the years about how it is that I became so confident, how it is that I'm so self-assured. About a month or two ago, I was at a birthday party for a friend and one of our mutual friends asked me, he said, T, how is it that you're able to walk into a room and just not give a fuck what anybody thinks? And I was honestly sort of taken aback by the question because I certainly don't walk around thinking that. Like, I don't walk into a room like, I don't give a fuck what anybody in here thinks about me. You know what I mean? I don't walk around with that in my head. And I feel like all of these things, the questions from you guys in comments, the questions from people I've encountered in real life about being confident and being self-assured all come down to the same basic thing of just the way you feel about yourself and the way you carry yourself. And it's interesting to me because I have just as many insecurities and worries and fears, I would say, as the next person. In fact, I dare say I feel like I probably have more. The difference is I do still believe in myself and I think people pick up on that. And at first, it's actually a very comforting thing. I think that people are generally very comforted by that type of energy of being around someone who is self-assured because it sort of puts them at ease. But then after a while, it starts to have the opposite effect because then people start to wonder, what does he or she know that I don't? Like, why does he have so much confidence? For a long time, I thought that there wasn't really any use in trying to answer that question of how it is that I became confident or how it is that I have so much confidence because I didn't feel like there was an answer. I, I for a long time felt that you're either made that way or you are not. You're either the type of person who is able to walk around with your chest up and your head up in spite of those fears, insecurities, worries that you carry along with everyone else, or you are not made that way and you will not be able to necessarily project such an air of confidence. But even that dichotomy revealed to me an idea that maybe would be helpful. And that is just that I think the reason, at least for me, the reason I'm able to project an, an, an air of confidence is that in spite of all of my fears and things that would drag me down, I am far too aware that everyone else is just as afraid as I am. We're all walking around terrified when you're really able to understand and grasp the amount of fear, worry, insecurity that literally every other person has walking around, it suddenly equalizes everything. It levels the playing field and it really does change the way you see the world. I'm not confident because I have fewer fears than you do. I'm confident because I know we both have tremendous fears and anxieties. It's just called being a human. That and that alone is the reason I'm able to walk around and feel completely secure in who I am. My insecurities and things like that aren't gonna go anywhere. They may change in severity as I get older. I certainly don't feel that they talk to me as loud as they used to. Then of course, other insecurities may arise as you age. So it's just going to be a nonstop part of being alive. But truly, honestly and truly, confidence is about realizing that none of us are really confident and then suddenly you start to feel confident. Once you realize that and truly believe it, I think that is what might change things around for you if you are struggling with feeling self-assured. It's a state of mind of being secure in your insecurity. And of course that isn't to say that I am only a bundle of insecurities and I've learned to accept that and that makes me confident. That's not what I'm saying. I do believe in myself. I do think there are things that make me unique, that make me special, that make me T. I do believe that for better or for worse, there is no one else exactly like me and that makes me special. But there are all sorts of nasty little thoughts about myself that come and go in my head depending on how I'm feeling that day. Thoughts that are not uplifting, are not positive, that are tearing myself down. But there's a tremendous amount of comfort in knowing that the fact that I feel that my thighs are looking a little bit too plump today, well, you know what? I bet no one else is gonna notice. Or you know what? 
I bet this woman who's got the legs of my dreams is probably insecure about something else on her body just as much as I'm insecure about my legs or whatever. It's really easy to look at other people and compartmentalize the things that they have that you want for yourself and think that your life is so much worse than theirs, their life is so much more desirable, so much more put together, so much more worthwhile. But if you got inside any of those people's heads who you're looking at, you would probably hear just as much self-doubt, if not more, than you're wrestling with on your own. So yes, while I do think there is a huge factor in either being made that way where you can walk around with your heart up and feel like you can look people in the eye when you talk to them, or if maybe you're more timid and you struggle with confidence and you're really shy, you're really quiet, you might just be made that way. However, in terms of actually finding ways to feel more confident than you do now, there are certain states of mind that you can try to shift to change that. And I think the main thing to shift is to know, not just to think, but to know we're all so scared. We're all just trying to get through the day. We're all just trying to make it and we're all terrified. Whether it's your favorite YouTuber who has 5 million subscribers and is making so much money and is constantly traveling the world and this and that. People say this all the time about social media. You're only seeing the good parts. Circumstantial, materialistic things like that, those aren't necessarily eliminating any other aspect of that person's life that makes them unhappy, that makes them unsure, that makes them struggle with self-doubt. And as I said, that's just what it means to be human. We all have these issues, unless you're Beyonce. That's it for this tea talk. I hope that it was helpful. I hope maybe if you were just feeling a bit low today, it might've been a little bit of a pick me up to help you realize it's just one bad day. You'll feel better tomorrow. You'll feel better about yourself tomorrow. And confidence really is just a state of mind. It's about a mental shift and it's not about someone else deserving to be confident and you not deserving to be confident. More than likely, that other person who has all that confidence is just aware, hey, we're all just struggling and that is okay. Thank you so much for watching. That is it for this Tea Talk and I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye-bye. That's, that's a nappy-headed hose there, I'm gonna tell you that now. <laughs>